What's up guys? So welcome to part four of the cabinet building series I'm doing. Uh, today um, I'm going to go ahead and put together all the face frames. Uh, on the last video um, I showed you how to take uh, the material from rough cut lumber uh, to uh, finish stock. So um, we're using eastern red cedar as you uh, know if you watched my last uh, video. Uh, if not go back and, and watch the uh, last three parts and you'll uh, you know be called up um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and lay out everything I'm gonna show you what I got standing here first so pardon the mess but uh, here's my five sets of uh, boards here now I'm gonna take uh, those five sets and put everything together out here on the floor uh, cabinet by cabinet and uh, you know that way you guys can see like the setup and I'm gonna pocket a hole everything put everything together and go from there all right, so this is the sink cabinet face frame. Uh, this is one of them. I have another one yet to do. I haven't put it together. This is just what it looks like uh, with all the pieces, uh, you know, placed in their respective positions. Um, these two still need to be aligned a little bit better, but just trying to get a general idea of what everything looks like put together. And then that's the other cabinet, which is just a small cabinet there in between the two sink cabinets uh, that's going to be you know basically for storage only and uh, to act as a place for a uh, television or something to sit um, so they can watch that whenever they're in the jacuzzi so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pocket hole all these and you can watch that process all right guys so at this point you want to make sure you have everything laid out the way you want it um, and then you want to pocket hole the opposite side um, so <clears throat> And you also want to make sure that you know, like, how this is being put together and everything. Um, so I won't need any pocket holes in this one or this one, uh, but I will need pocket holes on the ends of all the center ones and on the ends of these two. Um, everything will be pocket holed together then. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drill the pocket holes, and then after I'm done drilling the pocket holes, uh, we'll put a little glue on the ends. And then we will uh, install the, uh, put the screws in, and that will tighten everything together. So, without further ado, here I go.
testing out these three quarter inch screws on this first. You know this is 5 eighths material. Yeah, they'll work on this one, on these shallower holes. Now I'm going to go over here and do this one. Now this one over here may not work with those three quarter inch screws. And it may, it may work, I don't know. Let's see. So we'll put one of these through here. Yeah, yeah, actually it will. See they hang down about that far out of that pocket hole, so they'll work just fine. I mean, with this system, you know, you're supposed to be able to just screw it without gluing it, but I prefer to glue it blue anyway. You know, if you move around too much stuff, you know, banging cabinets a little bit, you know, and screws are eventually going to loosen up. With this glue, it's going to hold everything tighter. After them screws let loose. These here, I'm going to have to do a little bit of measuring to figure out where the center is. We're awfully tight in there, which is good because that's what you need to be. Alright, so interior dimension on this is six inches even. Uh, so half of 26 would be 13. So 13 is my halfway mark. Let's go. Make a little mark here at eight and a half. This will be my center mark for those boards. Same 
drawers in one time, then you'll find them. centers up here. Now, glue it up. wet rag for the stuff dries. Any at all. Alright, so there she be. That's after uh, pocket holing and putting all the screws in and obviously glue in between the joints. So that's what it's going to look like. So now what I need to do is sand this entire surface down. Um, sand between the joints like where they go together. It might be sticking up just a tad. I'm going to go ahead and sand all that and knock everything down. Make it all nice and smooth and uniform. And uh, then I'm going to install it on the cabinet. Time to let the sanding commence. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it. 
So this one's finished to where I can uh, go ahead and install it on the face frame, on the uh, cabinet itself, I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. You guys can watch how I do that. All right, everybody, I got the uh, face frames uh, sanded and put together. And I'll show you a picture of all of them uh, whenever they get installed. But uh, for now, I'm going to show you how to install one of them. And then, uh, you know, whenever everything's done, I'll show you how all of them look put on. All right, so first things first, what I want to do is install a bead of glue all the way around the, fa the uh, area where the face frame is going to mount. <clears throat> I'm using tight bond 3. figure out if we want it this way or if we want it this way. So I have a receptacle right there. Um, so I'm going to want the sink on the opposite side of that receptacle. So I'm going to want that over here. So what I'm going to do is rotate this around. I have my bay of drawers here. So this is going to allow countertop space on this side, um, which will allow, you know, the, the, uh, receptacle to be directly above that that space just my thought on it <clears throat> so now what i want to do is uh best thing to do is to lay this thing on its back but for video purposes i'm going to try to do this upright a little more difficult but try to make do <clears throat> so i got pocket holes in the sides here, I've got pocket holes in the bottom, which will be more interesting to get to. Then I've got pocket holes on the top. So I want to make sure um, that I, I cut this a little bit uh, taller than what I needed to just for overlayment purposes. And I also want to make sure, well, actually, in this case, it doesn't matter. Um, that cabinet that's over there, that small cabinet, it's got to be perfect on both sides. This one here can have a little bit of overlap on both sides. So, so this one here doesn't really matter. It just as long as it's pretty close on both sides. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a little overlap because I cut everything just a tad long, so so it'll work out better. You know, and if I had any issues for some reason due to squareness of the cabinet, if I had problems with the squareness of the cabinet, I could fix it just by um, changing this a little bit. You can hide a lot with face frames too, but I don't really need to hide a whole lot on this cabinet with the way I cut it. Yeah, everything is square. Just need to, just, yep, everything is perfectly square. Oh, yes, of course, it's going to be <clears throat> Okay, now. This is why it's a lot easier to do it when it's laying down. Get over there. Just trying to get everything perfectly close to center since this cabinet is perfectly square. first screw in here at the top. That way it'll kind of give me a little pivot point if I need it. Alright. Now I don't need to touch it. It looks pretty nice. Just like that, doesn't it? That's the way she looks. I usually coat, uh, usually finish it, you know, put a finish on it after it's already installed. Let's make sure this thing didn't get out of line. All right. 
right, we're good to go now. And once I get two screws in here, then basically all I do is go down the line and just start zipping the screws in. Pretty straightforward. plywood into five eighths inch uh, uh, face frame so um, you know typically I think you're supposed to use you're supposed to use one inch with two half inch pieces going together but I have never had any luck using one inch because it seemed to always go out out the uh, one the other cabinet or whatever you're uh, you know screwing together um, so I bought three quarter inch screws and those seem to work a lot better. <clears throat> I've got the jig set up every way that it says and all that. And I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I may do though. the rest of these up and I'll mount everything together and then I'll uh, shoot you a picture all right guys here they are installed this is what they look like just that blind cabinet that goes back in there everything is working fine with that it's all squared up what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, uh, right here, I'm going to put um, veneer, uh, cedar veneer around there. I'm going to make my own. And here as well, I'm going to put cedar veneer all the way down around here to make everything pop. Also, I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Cedar veneer. And I'll show you all how I do that. Uh, it's going to be a later um, later process. Oh, I don't know. It's going to take me at least a month to get all of my new cedar I'm getting dried. And I'll probably take a uh, short video for you guys whenever I'm going down to get it. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm getting uh, 15... No, no, no. Wait. Let's see. I'm getting 1,000 board feet of uh, eastern red cedar uh, at $1.58 a board foot. So not a bad deal. Of course, I've got to run all the way from eastern West Virginia to uh, western South Carolina, but either way, still well worth it. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be wet, but I still have to. I'm going to let it air dry. Uh, eastern red cedar doesn't take that long to air dry as long as it's not extremely thick. Uh, this is only going to be an inch thick, so it's not going to be bad. But anyway, this is the way they look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, a finish on them and I will record that process so you can see that at least. And I'm using a spar urethane. Usually takes about two to three coats. Almost always three coats. But this stuff here really makes the grain pop. some uh, had some metal in it and that metal stained the cedar blue in that one spot and that really turned out good to put this on it you can see that stuff popping out
couple of these boards, um, when I ran them through the planer, I think they had metal in them. I know the one did because I saw it in there. like my favorite part right here. what it looks like. I'll shoot you a picture after I'm done with all three of them here and then you can get a picture of everything. But uh, other than that, this is going to be the last time I come on, you know, video. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, this episode in the series uh, of my uh, cabinet building series. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.